I could talk to Dave and Jim on the surface anywhere I was in orbit except behind the moon. If I was in contact with mission control, then I could talk to Dave and Jim. When I came over the landing site, I could go to a different radio and talk to them directly. So we had a couple of ways of communicating with them. But there were times, like uh, half of an orbit, that I couldn't talk to them or mission control, uh, no matter what I wanted to do. So we were out of touch half the time. Okay, and what is the feeling when you are alone in module, for example, and you know, okay, if right now I'm losing communication, I'm left in a void with myself. And what is the feeling about it? I figured that was the best time of flight. <laughs> Absolutely the best time of flight. I did not even have to talk to mission control. I didn't have to answer the phone. I didn't have to talk to those people. Uh, I could do whatever. Of course, I was awfully busy, uh, and I did that. But, uh, but um, I was not the least bit concerned being out of radio contact uh, with Mission Control or with the guys on the surface. Yeah, no, I was fine. But the communication is really important in this mission, and well, sometimes people don't appreciate it. I think communication is the most critical part of the flight. Well, even the normal stuff that we did. Mission Control kept us up on our flight plan and made sure that we were doing the right things. Uh, but if something should go wrong, it's that communication with Mission Control that would allow us to take corrective action on, on whatever hap was happening. We had our own malfunction procedures on board that we could follow, but uh, oftentimes, as an example, we would never, ever have recovered Apollo 13 if it weren't for communications. because. We had to tell them what to do to get back on a course that would bring them back to Earth. We had to, we had to have that ability. And the only way we could do that is through radio. We had to talk to them. You cannot send data up to tell them what to do. You have to tell them. Motorola was involved in moon landing. So in terms of our coming back to the moon, you think that uh, cooperation, private and public sector is needed? There's, there's only one private sector company uh, that could go to the moon. And that's Blue Origin, and that's owned by Jeff Bezos, who owns Amazon.com. There's another company uh, called SpaceX uh, with Elon Musk, and he's also a very wealthy man, but uh, he funds all his operations through other investors. Uh, he funds his operations through government contract where he gets paid for it. So he's not really, in my mind, he's not really uh, the commercial customer. Uh, he is a government contractor, in my mind. Blue Origin, in, on the other hand, is totally independent of the government. Take no, they take no money from anybody. Jeff Bezos pays for the whole thing himself. So he is absolutely 100% uh, private company in space. And he's the only one. Every time I'm doing some articles about uh, Moon, everyone is asking me why we are not yet there. Well, the United States made a decision about the time that I was flying, back in the early 70s, uh, that they were going to put their focus more on Earth resources, go into Earth orbit, uh, and they started building a shuttle. Uh, when you build a shuttle, you've got to have some place for a shuttle to take stuff to, so they had to build a space station. The space station is still there. There's been a lot of confusion about the space station and whether it's doing what it's supposed to do and how long it should be there and all that. Uh, but the shuttle program has now been shut down. In my opinion, when we started shuttle program, um, we really took a step backwards in space. We stopped going long distances and we only went into Earth orbit. Uh, and I think that was a big, big mistake. We would have been on Mars now if we'd continued on the track we were on. Uh, but we got sidetracked with the shuttle. It's probably the most unsafe uh, spacecraft that's ever been built. Uh, we've lost more people in the shuttle than anything, all the others combined. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the shuttle. I don't think it was done right. I don't think it was, it was a very poor engineering design. Uh, and I don't like it. I think we need to focus our, our attention on being able to go somewhere else other than the moon, and like going to Mars. Go beyond Mars, let's go somewhere else. Uh, we got to find somewhere along the way, a planet that's out there far enough that it's out of the solar system and it's a place we can go to. And that's what the whole program's about.